Wee! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I was recording. But it's Joe, and I'm back in the proving grounds. And as you can see, there's been a bit of an accident behind me since I've been away. But as Bob Ross would say, it's been a happy accident. It's giving me a chance now to harvest my favourite cordage spruce cordage. All year round, calorie saving the bushcrafter's friend. And I'll explain those terminologies now. Most of the time, when it comes to collecting cordage, you're dealing with seasonable plants or plants that only bloom in certain seasons of the year like nettles a pretty predominant one found all across the world are only really starting to flower up now and won't really be practical practical to harvest and probably until the end of the summer when they reach a decent height so you're working with seasons two it's very calorie heavy calorie heavy i'm talking more towards emergency situations where you have to harvest it you have to strip it down you have to process it and then you still have to plant it to make your cordage so you know you're losing time and using calories tree inner bark is another fantastic all year round cordage whether there's snow on the ground or sun in the sky you can collect your inner bark but again you have to process that down in various stages plus it's not an all year round cordage in the sense if you want to harvest it to take home to work at your homestead or on future projects in the garage inner bark will dry out and won't really take a uh, it won't be reconstituted it's very hard to i have some tulip poplar bark at home i made with john bishop in tennessee and it's starting to get um, brittle so i can't use it on the projects that i had intended to use it on but spruce root on the other hand one doesn't have a season trees can blow over like this all the time or you can dig it up out of the ground which i recommend you have the landowner's permission for because it's a pretty invasive procedure unless you're just taking a small bit but always remember to leave no trace but you can harvest this in huge reams, massive reams. Take it home, hang it up in the workshop, and then further down the line, should you decide to use it, chuck it in a bucket, and it'll reconstitute and absorb all the water again and become very malleable. Same around camp. If you find some old spruce root, like some of these here, um, are pretty brittle. If you have a water source, you can leave it in the water for 30, 45 minutes, and it'll reconstitute and be workable. But most of the time you can dig it up out of the ground and even though this is old-ish it's still very usable still very manual will take a good overhand knot should you want to so if you need to save cordage and save time you can just dig for spruce root or you can take it from an upturned tree system like this use it for things like pot hangers and um, holding together kindling bundles lashing tripods it's surprisingly strong stuff it doesn't take any time to process but to pull it out of the ground or to pull it off a stump like this and if you wanted to you got a larger gauge piece like this it's very easy to work with if your hands are cold or if you're inexperienced it don't take much you can take your gauge and you see i have a split in this already but what you would do very safely again if if you are practicing this you don't want to cut your digits and if it is a bit of an emergency scenario you don't want to cut your digits so you can take your knife and you just pop the top of it make a bit of a gap and this will naturally start this peel will naturally start now you have two options here you can work it by your hands if they're applicable chasing the split so if it starts to get a little thick on one side switch it over play with it there switch it over play with it there or you can take your knife jam it in a stump and you can pull your cordage along which is a very quick very easy way to process it too so once you have it split in half if you want smaller cordage again you just repeat the process splitting the tips and working your way down it if it's a little brittle again if you have a water source 30 minutes jobs a good one but a very kindly calorie friendly a very beginner friendly way of trying to work with natural cordage dig it up out of the ground no time to process it and it's readily available all year round just something quick again a happy accident if you're out walking about it's always nice to take um, an opportunity like this to gather up some natural cordage work with some resources that you may have never had a chance to work with and to bring some home for the workshop should you decide to do some home crafts and stuff like that but as always be safe out in the woods be careful when walking on the things like this on bad weather days and then um, enjoy your journey outdoors as always joe oh